No longer confined to science fiction, nanotechnology has the potential to revolutionise the products and processes of the future. Well, what is it about this tiny technology that's got scientists working on the FP7 project NanoHex so excited? Nanoparticles are uh, defined according to most people uh, an object with at least one dimension smaller than about 100 nanometers. When the particles are such small, then the area of the particle, we call the surfaces, are much, much higher than their weight. And that makes these things having new properties and uh, exciting application. Although these particles are so tiny they can't be seen with a regular microscope, they often possess far more remarkable properties than the same material in bulk. When the size gets down, you could change practically all of the properties. The magnetic properties can be different, the reactivity can be different, the electrical conductivity can be different. It's these unique properties that the NanoHex partners intend to harness as they develop a cutting-edge nanofluid coolant. We take a fluid, like water, and in it you add these nanoparticles and you add some components where you stabilize the suspension of these nanoparticles in the solution. This setup is called nanofluid. Previous studies suggest that the dispersal of carefully engineered nanoparticles into a fluid can significantly aid heat transfer by up to 40%. This has some big implications for industry. The main objective for NanoHex is really for intensify heat transfer. We're seeing a development of nanofluids for potentially for several applications, but I would envisage the most uh, nearer to market is cooling of electronics. I would see that cooling of a data center where you know your computer having a lot of heat ejected, you need to take it out from the ship. Imagine data center which consists of 100 or 2 or 300 of these computers together. The amount of heat you are generating is far too much and you need to take it away effectively and efficiently. Nanofluid can do a good job here because they can be uh, much higher efficiency in removing the heat than water. If you look at our engine, car engines, uh, if we can reduce the weight to make the engine system, the heat transfer system, cooling system, lighter, smaller, then that will give you performance. The three-year NanoHex project involves 12 partners from Europe and Israel. Together, they aim to develop a high-performance nanofluid that will significantly improve heat transfer. Data centers and large electric drives of high-speed trains are just two priority areas with high cooling demands that NanoHex will investigate. A more efficient nanofluid coolant could help both of these industries and others to increase their energy efficiency, reduce their operating costs and develop more environmentally friendly processes and products. The NanoHex project aiming at taking this from the laboratory to the commercialization stage so in the end of the project, we will have at least two pilot units and two demonstrators to show the economical and technical feasibility and viability of this uh, project. We have very high expectation, but from an industrial perspective, if you have some 5-10% enhancement in heat transfer, it will be a blessing for the whole industrial sector for cooling and heating applications.